What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. We're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a phenomenal team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves an adaptability and life orb Porygon Z team that was used to win the most recent Pokemon Sword and Shield tournament. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support your channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. It really does go a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and it just blows me away the support you guys have for me as a content creator. But getting started with this team, we got Porygon Z in that top left corner, the heart and soul of this team. It's got that adaptability as its ability, so double damage for stab moves. It's going to be amazing. He hits like a truck, and then that life orb, just give it a bit more damage as if adaptability wasn't even enough. We just give it that life orb, give it that 1.3 times multiplier, and he rocks out from there. Move set is Hyper Beam, Dark Pulse, Protect, and Nasty Plot to set up. So we got one stab move and one coverage move, Protect, and a setup move. Right next to him is going to be a great support mod for this team. That is going to be Clefairy with that Evo Light and that Friend Guard to make allied Pokemon take less damage. When it's out on the field, we got Follow Me, Helping Hand, Protect, and Alice, which is all support moves, no damage, just support here for this guy. Middle left, we got Regilecki, great Pokemon all around, Transistor ability, Magnet as its item so it hits harder with electric moves, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, E-Web to have speed control, and Protect as its last move. Right next to him is going to be another support mod with Incineroar, Fake Out for flinches, Taunt for support mods, parting shot to get some attack or special attack drop, and pivot out, and then flare blitz as our final stat move. Intimidate, obviously, as our ability, and citrus berry as our item. Bottom left corner is going to be another Pokemon that you can bring in on any team, and that is going to be Real Boom, Grassy Surge ability, Assault Vest so we can soak up some special attacking shots, fake out for another flinch, Grassy Guide for first turn priority when that surge is up. We got U-turn for pivot and knock off to take off items. Final Pokemon is going to be a Focus Sash Urshfu, and it is the Water and Fighting type, another heavy hitting Pokemon for this team. We got Close Combat for Stab, Surgeon Strikes for Water Stab, Aqua Jet for First Turn Priority, and Protect as our final move. Guys, if you'd like this team, want to check out the stats, we got that uh, Poke Pace down in the description below. Definitely go check it out if you want to see anything about the team. It is all down there in the description below. Also, if you guys want to rent this team, not the code is at the bottom of the screen as well. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this tournament winning Porygon Z team. What is this, ladies and gentlemen? Check this out. We're going up against a team that I legit just uploaded on. Like, by the time I'm recording this, I uploaded a video on this team like five minutes ago. So, hopefully, this is a Jeans fan. Hopefully, you checked out the video, got that rental code, and uh, hopped on the ranked double ladder with. That'd be pretty cool. So, George, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comment section down below. But who should I lead? How should I go after it? Hopefully, we can pick up a win in battle number one. I might go Porygon. I'm trying to think who he might go into. I could go Porygon, and I can take speed control with Regilecki, which wouldn't be bad. Because this team has no fakeouts. It has absolutely no fakeouts. I also want to bring that Urshfu. I think I'm going to go Regilecki for speed control. Not even bring the Clefairy, and then have Urshfu, and then final Pokemon. Could be Incineroar or Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom might be a little bit better. We have that Dark Move, and plus we have the Grassy Glide. We can change up terrain, and we can do all that good stuff. So we're going to be rocking out with Rillaboom in our final spot. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Since Siri Sen is right around the corner, what Pokemon do you think is going to be a problem? Or what Pokemon do you think is going to fall off? What Pokemon do you think we're going to see a lot? What Pokemon do you think we're not going to see a lot? Because I think Porygon Z is going to fall off drastically once Siri Sen comes out because he really thrives because of Dynamax. Like, you use him to Dynamax and get after Pokemon. So once Dynamax is gone, I don't think we're going to see a lot of them. I really don't think so. And a Pokemon that I think is going to dominate the meta is going to be Zacian. I think Zacian is back. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe restricted Pokemon are back. One per team, so I think Zacian is just going to come in here and sweep the meta once again. But this guy leads Sylveon and Grimmsnarl. Sylveon and Grimmy Grim. Um, that's an easy play for me. I'm just going to drop a Max Strike. And he can yawn up onto me. Which could be a problem, so I might just double down onto him. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think Porygon outspeeds both of them because it's 81... I think the speeds were 81 and 82. Do I remember that correctly? I might remember that correctly. Because I remember, yeah. The speeds are 81 and 82. The Porygon 100% outspeeds. He might set up a screen. Probably going to set up a late screen. So in that case, I might just Thunderbolt. I think I'm just going to double down into the Sylveon. Just so he doesn't get off a yawn. So let's see what happens here. Here's our Dynamax. We're doubling down on this. I know we outspeed these Pokemon because I remember, like I said, we used this team in the last video. If you guys haven't checked out the video, definitely go check it out. That team is actually really, really strong. We went 2-1 with it. I think it's a it's a top tier Sylveon. It's really, really good. And it rocks out all around. And it uses Pokemon like Grimmsnarl, Screen's Grimmsnarl that I really, really like. But I think he's going to go for a Yawn and maybe a Light Screen. Yep, there's a Light Screen. What you got, fool? We're coming after you, Sylveon. 
coming after you. Don't worry, little buddy. T Bowl comes out here. He's gonna be able to soak that up. So, to be honest, he's pretty tanky with special attacking. But I'm hoping, just hoping this Max Strike picks up the KO here. It's gonna be pretty strong. It's got Stab, it's got Life Orb, yep, and it's got Adaptability. We get rid of that thing. So, no Yawn coming out for here. And more importantly, we get that Speed Drop onto the Grimstorm. Even though it doesn't have an attacking move, it does have Spirit Break. So that can lower my special attack, so maybe he has to go next. Maybe we have to tell him to go home. I'm um, trying to think. Who else does he have? He might have brought the Metagross, which could be scary. Yep, there's the Metagross. And he's obviously going to Dynamax that Metagross, no problem. So I might just Max Darkness. But no, that thing is not policy. He is Assault Vest, though. It's an Assault Vest Metagross. Like, we know a lot about this team. Uh, who else do I have in the back end? I do have Urshifu. Put that Focus Ash, which isn't bad. Might go for a Max Quake, so I might actually pivot here. If you go for a Max Quake, I could swap into Rillaboom. Hmm. Might be our play. And this could give us a uh, special defense drop. Well, that's special defense boost. No, it's special defense drop. We're just going to slow them down, take out you, and I'm just going to Volt Switch out. It's going to be my play, because I do see a Max Quake coming in here for a special defense boost. So I'm going to save Regilecki for the uh, back end. Right, that thing rocked the uh, ground move. I think its move set was it was a steel, ice, ground, and what was the final one? He had no protect. I know he had no protect. I totally forget his final move. I know it was ice, ground, steel, and something else. Not fighting. But there's Thunder Wave coming out here. Going to slow us down. And I don't know if uh, what's called is going to be able to outspeed now. Or Yon. But Volt Switch can come out here more importantly. We're going to be able to get off some damage there. And we're going to go back. We're bringing out Roboom. Rocking out with him. I doubt he's dropping ice. I really do see him not dropping ult. Or not dropping ice. I see him dropping a Quake. Right? Into my Regilecki spot. So we're swapping there. Surge is out and about. Let's see how this one plays out. I do have a Fake Out ready to go. So that's really good. Let's see his play. He's going to Quake. Show me that Quake. There's the Quake. Yo, dude. Genes is making some good reads. Making some good reads right now. He's going to go on the Roboom. It's going to be easy eats, baby. Easy eats, but more importantly, he gets that special defense boost. That's what really he was looking for. But a good swap by me to waste out a Dynamax turn there. A lovely little Dynamax turn. And maybe we can take out here. Again, he screens. He's plus one on defense. Can we get to pick up KO? Oregon Z still doing work, though. Still doing work. Almost gets a KO. We got a speed drop on the Grimstone. No drop onto that clear body. And I could Grassy Glide. I could Fake Out. I'm probably just going to Fake Out just so he can't get off the Reflect or anything else. Just get rid of this Pokemon once and for all. Right, a fake out should take that out. I believe so, right? Uh, now I can't go for that special defense drop. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for special defense drop, and I could take off as a soul vest. That's a good possibility. I think I'd rather fake out here. Just get rid of you and take off as a soul vest next turn. Because he, he's probably just going to go for that thunder wave. Another thing is pretty tanky. If I can get rid of that assault vest, he's gonna be able to soak up a lot of shots here with the, through the light screen and the plus one on special defense. That's just big. But we're playing this one really well. Like knowing this team, like using this team before, gives me a lot of background information. Like you guys can tell, like I know its move set, I know what item it's holding, so like I'm playing up against that. But that's what's so good about having knowledge for Pokemon. Yeah, that's why it's so important. Like the best players in the world, like know a lot about this game. Like not even just about the game, but about the Pokemon that they use. He's going to change up the terrain here, which is not bad. I don't mind it. I still have my Regilecki in the back end. And we're going to be able to get off a nice little fake out here. Just doing a little bit of chip damage. Bink. Doing a little collapsies on you. And here comes another Max Quake. So he's special defense boosting. I'm going to take off items next round. And we're going to be able to eat that up, no problem. That part is that our Dynamax is going after us. So there's a special defense boost. Let's drop it back down. We cannot go for a Grass Glide. Well, we can, but it's not going to be first turn priority. We still might outspeed these guys. But look at that. We do, like, no damage. <laughs> we do, like, no damage. I think I have to take off this thing to Soul Vest, right? I think I just have to start slapping off these items, man. The Soul Vest would be doing us dirty. And who else do I have in the back? I have, uh, Regilecki and... Who was it? Regilecki and... Who's my final mod? Who is it? It's Earth Spook. Okay, so that's physical attacking. That's not too bad. You go for a Dark Pulse, or it could drop a Hyper Beam. I think Hyper Beam's gonna be the play. I can see him definitely taking out my, uh. 
Definitely taking out my Porygon here, maybe with a Steel Spike or something. Trying to get off some big damage. Let's see how this one plays out. Protect comes out from you. Okay, that's fine. That is totally falling. Let's see. Here goes Steel Spike. Yep, into my Porygon. I think... Oh, not into my Porygon. Robum should be able to eat that. That's wonderful. The Robum's able to eat that up. We waste out all of his Dynamax turns, and he takes out no Pokemon. But his stats are boosted. I really don't like. Knockoff comes out here, and we get off of that item. That's huge. We say, hey, give me that Assault Vest. Porygon Z's paralyzed. Okay, it's fine. He was getting blocked anyway. He was getting blocked anyway. So, do I take off leftovers here? Might as well, right? Might as well just get rid of these items. We got rid of that. I could go for a Dark Pulse, but I think I'm just going to protect here. And... Maybe just knock off. Just take off his leftovers. We're going to play this one slow. We're going to slow this one down. We waste out his Dynamax. Tech comes out from Porygon. Hopefully his Metagross goes after him. Let's see how this one plays out. Goes for a Meteor Mash, and that's going to go after my really, really. Can you eat that? You do not. Dang it, man. And he gets that boost. And he gets that attack boost. Oh, no. Don't like that one bit. Don't like that one bit. Oh, my lord. And he sets up a Calm Mind. And this dude sets up a Calm Mind. He's setting up hard. He's setting up hard. We got we to gotta get some Pokemon up in here. We got to get we gotta get somebody out here to do some work. Let's get out our Regilecki. Get out our Regilecki right now. Do we double up into the Finny? What's the play here? This is tough. This is tough. This guy's stacked up. He's stacked up. Gotta go for a Hyper Beam. I think we double up in the Finny. He might protect, though. I'm still gonna double up. I think we have to. Right? I think Finny's ready to just attack. Let's see how this one plays out. I still don't see us taking him out there. Even with this double up. So he does not protect. Here's Thunderbolt. Oh, oh my. Oh! 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 Reg Regilecki, bro! Chill on them! Gets us a much needed crit. <laughs> a much needed crit. Not even gonna lie. That takes out our Regilecki, though. But, though, that was a much needed crit there. Much needed crit. Regilecki goes down here. Hyper Beam's gonna slide through and. Ugh. We're out for the next turn, which stinks. But yeah, look at that move. That move looks so dangerous, even though it did, like, no damage. I'm surprised he hasn't taken out my Porygon yet. Comes down to these guys. We got Urshfu left. I think he has one more, right? But that was a huge crit, and it's Grimstrong. So Grimstrong cannot hit. So, actually, he can. It's Spirit Break. And I think I'm just going to Aqua Jet into him. Right? Don't I just Aqua Jet into him just so he doesn't, like... Hit me with a spirit break. He can't protect, so Aqua Jet's gonna come out here. We're gonna take him out, and we still have our Focus Sash. And I don't want him setting up a Reflect either, so. We'll Reflect go before our Aqua Jet. Because then I could just drop a Close Combat or Surge of Strikes, whichever one I want. But yo, dude, that Regilecki crit was nasty. Comes up big for us. That was huge. Regilecki hits like a truck. He, you can also Dynamax him whenever you want. That's what's so good about him. He is lightweight, but yo, if he's hitting, he's hitting hard. Aqua Jet flies through. First turn priority. Takes out the Grimstrong. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And he hasn't touched my Porygon yet. Rock Slide's popping through here. That's totally fine. We outspeed. He's going to take off our Focus Ash. Porygon lives another day, too. So I'm recharging here. And we're just going to double through on this one and probably pick up this win. A, he doesn't have Protect, so he cannot Protect this turn. And B, even if he Protects, Urshfu's still hitting through to Protect. Which is nasty. But let's go for this. That won't pick up the KO. But I think Close Combat should be able to come in clutch here. And uh, finish this one off. I mean, he does have a defense boost. So I think Surge's Strikes would be a bit better. I think so. Right? Because he has that defense boost. Let's rock out with it. Because crits go through defense boost or any stat changes. That's why that Thunderbolt hit so hard. It was a critical hit. So he had no special defense boost going on with that hit. But here comes my Surge's Strikes. There's one hit. Two hits gonna bring him down close red and three hits is gonna finish off this battle. Let's go long drawn out battle number one Awesome battle here considering we got to show off this team to its fullest potential Now we can hop into our second battle and look to go back to back for today's video Second battle come at you guys looking to go back to back and speaking of back to back if any of you guys watch NHL or National Hockey League you guys know the Tampa Bay Lightning just went back to back That was an awesome series. I just watched the Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm a big hockey fan so 
congratulations to them. Even though I'm not a Tampa Bay fan, it was still an amazing run and fun to watch. But we're hopping into our second battle. This guy has a Torkoal team. Well, Torkoal Venusaur Drought team. You guys already know plenty about that. And he also has Porygon Z's little brother, which is Porygon 2. Then Urshifu, Regilecki, and Metagross. So this one looking a little tough here. I think he's going to bring in the Metagross. He might bring in that speed factor with the Venusaur and Torkoal. So I honestly might just go same lead. Try to get rocking out with these guys. I think that might be play. Definitely want my... Oh, do I really want that Urshifu? If he goes Drought, that could be a little tough for us, but I'm still going to bring him. I really do like this guy here. With that Focus Ash, he just rocks out all around. And then the final spot, I think we're going to go Incineroar. I think we're going to go lovely little Incineroar here. Let's rock out. Let's get after it. I really do like this lead with the Porygon Z and the Regilecki over the Clefairy. I feel like Clefairy might not really be needed. Considering Regilecki, you could just take speed control easily. I think the Clefairy is there to set up a nasty plot. I think that's like it's uh it's true thing there, but I really do like having Regilecki over the Clefairy because I can just E-Web, take over speed, max strike, usually pick up a KO from there, and then get another speed drop as well. So we're just taking speed control and getting KOs at the same time. But if you really want to set up, Clefairy should lead with this Porygon. But he's gonna go in with these two. And I think a nice little What are we gonna do here? I might Volt Switch, to be honest with you guys. I might do a little bit of switching of the Volts. Hmm. I might Volt Switch this one. Actually, no. I don't want to Volt Switch. You might just go for Stomp and Tantrum. But actually, I'm just going to uh, go for Max Darkness. Try to get rid of you. In all honesty. And he is already slower, so I might just go for a T-Bolt into him. And double down. Right? Oh, I can't protect. Which I am going to do. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to protect my Regilecki. I don't want him to shop in a stop your tantrum or a max quake and taking out my Regilecki, no problem. Because that would just be an easy turn for him. So we're going to Dynamax Porygon. We're going to go for his max darkness, get this special defense drop. I don't see us really picking up the KO here. Maybe, actually, it is coverage. So it's not stab, so we don't get adaptability onto that. But we still get our life orb damage, which is huge. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see it. Let's see this one. Let's see what his Regilecki is. Well, he's going to end up Dynamaxing that Metagross. Okay. So, yeah, I think Quake is coming through here. So, I can E Web next turn or just Thunderbolt. Let's see what he does. Well, we got to see how much damage we're really doing over here. But we are going to be able to do more damage in the next turn because we're going to special defense drop, which is huge. Which is enormous. But I think he's just going to cancel it out with a Max Quake, right? Right? Is that his play? Here's my lovely little protect, and he's gonna go for a bolt switch onto my poison slot. Oh wow, wow, that did that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Did a lot of damage. Please don't say you're doubling up into my Porygon. Don't do me dirty like that. Don't do me like that. He's gonna pop out Porygon too. That's totally fine. And let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna trace me up and get my transistor. Butter biscuit. Max darkness comes through. How much damage are we really gonna do this thing? It's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. If he doesn't go for a special defense boost, I think my uh, Reds like to take that thing out in one shot. He goes for a Quake. There's a special defense boost. I knew he was going to go for it. And Reds like he should be able to soak that up. So, the question is... The real question is... Do we think a Thunderbolt can KO? Okay, he's Life Orb, so yeah, I think a Thunderbolt can KO that thing. I'm going to go for a strike here on the Porygon, and I'm just going to go for a go for an E-Web, but I think we're going to go for a Thunderbolt and finish this thing off. He might go for the Guard. I think he's going to go for the Guard and the Trick Room. Maybe I should double up in the Porygon, but I think we're fine. I think we are fine. And he does not Guard. No Guard comes out for him. T-Bolt comes up, cleans up this Metagross, no problem, and takes out his Dynamax Pokemon. Huge turn for us. This is why I love this lead. I love this lead. He's so versatile. It, can, it just gets a lot done. It goes our strike. Strike coming through here. Bow. Doing some big damage on the Porygon too. You don't ever see that big of damage on the Porygon too. With no stat boost? Come on, man. That's a big damage. And Trick Room is going to get popping here. That's totally fine. He's probably going to recover this turn. I can definitely see that happening. And I might just double down. I might go into a... What's it going? I might go into a... A Max Darkness just to get a special defense boost. And just rock out with a hit hard hitting move. But he's gonna bring in Urshfu. 
And I know Urshfu cannot hit through a max guard. I'm gonna do this, and I think I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. We're gonna guard. I can't, I, I'm just seeing this uh, close combat coming into me, right? Oh, but then his poor. I think his Porygon's gonna recover. I think that's his play for his Porygon. Let's see how this one plays out. This might have been a bad move for move for us. Here goes a guard. I think he's close combating. He's gonna go for a sucker punch. Okay, that works just fine. Ice beam comes through, and we get off a block. So if he was doubling up into us. I really do like that turn from us then. Big turn coming out from your boy. Double protect there, and we get a thunderbolt finishing off his Porygon too. So he set up a trick room. And he brought out the Urshfu. That's where I'm confused. He has to have this heavy hitting slow mon in the back end here. Or maybe he was just trying to set it up for that uh, Metagross. But let's see. It's going to be Regilecki. So this actually works a little bit more in our favor, right? Even though he's a bit... No, he's not slowed down at all. He's not slowed down at all. I'm going to drop a Hyper Beam. Oh, I could plot. He might just go for Sucker Punch, right? <laughs> I could plot. <laughs> but I'm just going to go for a Hyper Beam into you. And just uh, go for a Thunderbolt into you. Let's see how this one plays out. There's no Dynamax left, and he just cancels battle. Let's go back to back for today's video. Let's hop into our third and look for that perfect record. Gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. Going up against a Blaziken team in battle number three. God, I love saying that. I haven't went up against a Blaziken team in forever, and I definitely got to get my hands on another Blaziken team because he's such a fun Pokemon to use. He's got that speed boost ability. He's very fast. He's got a cool moveset, and he's just an all-around awesome Pokemon. He also has Indeedee on his team with Milotic, Rhyperior, Amoongus, and Dusclops for Tricker. Okay, how should I go into this one? Don't I have Taunt on a Pokemon? Is it Incineroar? Don't I have Taunt on somebody? Who do I have Taunt on? It is my boy Incineroar. So we're going to lead him. We're gonna get after him. We're not gonna lead the Porygon. We're definitely gonna be bringing in the Porygon because I love that guy. Um, I could bring in Urshfu. Urshfu could be decent. Hmm. Urshfu could be pretty good here. I bring Pori. I definitely want to bring Porygon, but I don't want to lead him. We go Rillaboom. Rillaboom as the lead's not bad here either because I can knock off items and I can do work from there. I'm gonna lead Rillaboom. I'm gonna go Urshfu, and final Pokemon is going to be the one and only Porygon Z. So let's get rocking out here. Let's show off the uh, Rillaboom and Incineroar as a different lead because you guys already know we showed off the Regilecki and Porygon for our first two leads of the first two battles. But I could have went into that same lead. Like that lead just rocks out totally strong. I think this team is insane. I think it is broken. I think, well, I shouldn't say broken. Broken is like an overused word, but it, in my opinion, it's so good that you could say it's broken. It is just all around phenomenal. It dominates a lot of these Pokemon and a lot of the meta. But we get this lead. We're going to be able to taunt up. He might go for a nice little sleepy powder. But I'm going to fake out and taunt. That's my plan. Fake out, taunt, and then get after him next turn. You want some of this, dude? You want some of this? We got the perfect lead for you guys. The perfect lead coming at you guys. Yo, I think Pokemon Unite just got a release date. I saw like a little leaked thumbnail on a YouTube video as I was uh, uploading today. And I did not click on it, so I think it did get a release date. Hopefully, we can check that out because you guys know once Pokemon Unite comes out, live streams are coming back for the Jeans YouTube channel. It's going to be on Twitch. Link to my streams will be down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We're going to be streaming probably like four to five times a week. So definitely hit that follow button. Turn on those notifications for me. But we're going to fake out and we are going to taunt up on the Dust Cops to see how this one plays out. Nice, lovely little fake out. We're just going to start countering up on a lot of this stuff right here. But, yo, I've been playing really good. I've been playing really good today. Like, I haven't been making a lot of mistakes. I know that crit did basically win us that game. Battle number one. But, hey, that makes up for all the times I lost to a crit or a missed attack. Fake out gets popping here. We're going to make this a Moongus flinch, which is going to be big. And we get a crit. That's the best when you get a crit on a fake out. You're just like, why did it do a little bit more damage than it normally does? You're like, oh, yeah, I got a crit. Those are the fun crits. He can't go for a trick room, and we make this thing flinch, which is huge. Okay, so we could just Flare Blitz, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a lovely little Flare Blitz, and I am going to take off this thing's Evil Light. Evil Light, get out of my face. And he might put me to sleep. Let's see what he does. Let's see this dude's play. But before he does put me to sleep, I am going to be able to... Oh, he's going to withdraw. I like that turn even better. Make that turn even better. Oh, when he's going to go in the right period, man. He's going to go in the right period, so I can just glide next turn into him. Knockoff comes out. We take off that thing's evil light. We say, hey, give me that thing. You're, you're not bulky anymore. You're not bulky anymore. Can we get a burn? Can we get a little bit of Gene's luck here with a burn on a right period? Come on, show it to me. 
No jeans luck. Quick break comes through. That's silly. Oh, yo, he's procking policy, baby. He's procking policy. He's not playing around. So we outspeed, which is good. Um, I think I'm just going to pivot out with the Incineroar. That's a, that's a big proc there. You can't trigger him. Or how many more turns? Two more turns is he on a taunt? Let me see. If it's two more turns, then I'm going to pivot out here. Oh, let's see. One turn. So did we just get rid of him? How much I want a parting shot. I think we have to get rid of this thing. I think we're going to go for the glide into him, and then we are going to go for a, uh, a flare blitz into that. That what's it called. That does scops. Because I can't pivot here and just have him set up a trick him with a guard next turn. I mean, I probably could have, considering, again, he's not evil late, so he's very, very weak. Let's see how this one plays out. We have the grassy surge going. So we got first turn priority rocking here. We're going to get the damage boost on top of it from the surge, and then we got stab over here. So this is Dynamax from the right period. If we can get rid of this thing, it's going to be GG's. But I probably should have went with my plan, which was pivot into a parting shot, get that attack drop on him, then eventually swap out into the world again, get an Intimidate, and be able to flinch and kind of just control the battle like I've been doing. This is how I like playing. Like, I like playing with teams like this where I can just control battles. Like, not just go heavy onto the attacking, but just control battles all around. A big damage comes out from the Grassy Glide. Here goes our Flare Blitz. We're just trying to get off enough damage to be able to take this thing out next turn. Or we can take it out here. Let's see. Nope. No KO there. And what's he going to go for from here? Maybe a Pain Split? I don't know what moves he's really rocking here, but Rockfall's going to drop. And we still have Terrain, so we can just Grassy Glide and pick up an easy KO next turn. Actually, never mind. He goes after you. He went after you. But he doesn't have speed. He does not have speed, which is great. Which is a real good for us. And he's going to be able to throw out a Nightshade. So, again, a Flare Blitz will be able to take that thing out next turn, which I'm totally cool with. And then I can just rock out into my, uh, my Urshifu. I can just bring out my Urshifu, which I can just search and strike to pick up KO, right? Or I can Dynamax Urshifu. Do I do it? <laughs> do I do it? Because if I Dynamax, is, is this a G-Max Urshifu? If I Dynamax this Urshifu, let me see this thing. I'm definitely going to bring him out, but I just want to see if he's G-Max. He is. He guards, I hit through a guard. <laughs> if he guards, I hit through a guard. I'm about to do it. There's fruit coming out here. We know we outspeed. I'm just gonna flare blitz. Take you out. You know, I can Dynamax with a rapid flow. It ignores a max guard. We're doing it. We are doing it. Just because I don't want to Dynamax Porygon Z again. And I want to have some fun with this one. We know he has a Moongus. That's totally fine. We know he has a Moongus. These two Pokemon are probably going to go down here because we have speed. And I do not know his third Pokemon. And plus, if I can get rid of his Dynamax here, we could be sitting really pretty with two turns left in the Dynamax. But if I'm actually playing, I'm saving my Dynamax for my Porygon because he just works way better in Dynamax. But I'm trying to have some fun here. Get some cool content out for you guys. We're Dynamax and Urshfu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it. Ignores the max guard. Can we KO through it? Yo, your boy has the calls today. He has the calls today. I am playing out my mind. Get this thing out my face. Get him out of here. Looking for the guard in the trick room. We hit right through that max guard with our gigantic max rush through. And we say, hey, yo, duck scops. Out my face. Get out my game. Dude, I'm playing insane right now. <laughs> I'm playing so good, yo. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, this video deserves a subscription. Hit that subscribe button for me down there. It's just big and red. It only takes a second of you guys' time, and it helps me as a content creator. If you guys haven't liked the video as well, that deserves a like. We have a couple few good reads in today's video, like the Max Quake earlier. We actually read Max Quake in the first battle and second battle. And then we just read that Max Guard and Dynamax our Urshfu and went with a risky play, which turned out well in our favor. He's going to end up going Milo Tech and back into the movies. I can just run a nice little flare blitz. Nice lovely little flare blitz, even though I do think it's protecting. And I am going to max knuckle. Just get attack boost for both the guys over here. Both the big dogs. Both the big dogs get an attack boost here. And we're doing lovely amount of damage on the Milo Tech. 
Big old attack boost. Now I think this player bus has the possibility of taking out this Moongus. And this thing, this son of a biscuit, eats a berry. I like how the berry is the same, like, picture. No matter what berry is. Like, I hope in the new games they change it. Like, where an actual, like, citrus berry pops up. It all comes through. You take me out. You buttery biscuit. Yo, don't put me to sleep. Is he gonna put me to sleep? Clear smokes. Okay. Takes off my attack stat. Buttery biscuit. He could've went for a sleep. He could've went for a sleep. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm thriving with this one. I'm liking where we're sitting here. Considering I'm bringing out the one and only Porygon. I could drop a massive hyper beam on somebody. I think it's gonna be Milotic. I think we're just gonna dump all this Milotic. Time to go home. Grass is gone. Bring out my Porygon, man. Bring him out. Uh, do I go for another Knuckle? I'm just gonna be the player. Let's play here for jeans. Yes, sir. Porygon, baby. Porygon. We can't throw sleeps, which I don't like. Hyper Beam has to come out here. Um, I think we can take on Milotic, no problem with that. And I think Knuckle might be your best bet. Right, Knuckle might be your best bet. Just in case we don't take out the Milotic, we're gonna go after that. Just like this. And, okay, we outspeed. I thought maybe my Porygon would outspeed. I should check the speeds for that. But, take him out. Oh, that would've been a huge takeout. Would've been a huge takeout. There's an attack boost. Now we're just wasting a Hyper Beam here. We really are, but it's all good. Here goes our Hyper Beam. Just to rub it in his face. Yo, this move looks so deadly. The giant beam that just melts our opponent. <laughs> like, look at that. Imagine getting hit by that. You wouldn't even feel it. It would just kill you on contact. Instantly. Instantly. We lose some HP. We got to recharge here. And a Spore's coming out here. Fine with you, Spore on him. He has to recharge anyway. Oh, Buffett's dropping. Uh, do we have... No, we're out of Dynamax turns. I was going to say, do we have one more turn? We do not. And it comes down to this guy. And you think Amoongus is beating us? No shot. No shot. We can play like five more turns. Maybe even like nine more turns before he even picks up a KO on one of my Pokemon. Um... What's our best bet here? Surgeon Strike? I don't even know. I, I, probably Surgeon Strikes is our best bet. Considering I really don't want to drop our stats. That's like one of the only chances he would win at. Surgeon Strikes come out here. We're not going for close combat. No need to drop for defense or special defense. Let's just start chipping away slowly. Mink. It's actually doing a decent amount of damage. I dig that. Effect Sport comes out here. Hey! Hey! What's your problem? And this would Effect Sport. Get out of my face. We're coming out here. And what's he going to go for? Giga Drain? Is he rocking Giga Drain? He's sporing me. Yeah, yo, it failed. You can't do that. Actually, thank you, Effect Spore. Effect Spore actually came up clutch. <laughs> Effect Spore did come up clutch. It poisoned us instead of, uh... So then we can't get to sleep. Roll out with the Hyper Beam. And I think another Surgeon Strikes might do the job. It's going to be cutting it close. He's going to cancel. There's cancel. Perfect record for you guys. Dominated in today's video. These three battles that I've recorded for you guys today might have been the best three Pokemon battles I have ever played. I've been playing out my mind as of recently. We played great in today's video. We made some phenomenal reads, some good swaps, and we're leading the right Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. And if you guys want to check out the stats, all the EVs and all that good stuff, the Poke Pace is down in the description below. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.